What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com and today I'm bringing you guys my top nine tips to customize your Galaxy Note 8 and improve the experience of using the phone. Now I did do an initial first 10 things to do with your phone when you get it out of the box. If you guys wanna check out those basic tips that you should use to set up the phone right away, you can check out that video. I will link it below if you are interested. Now today we're gonna to look at some more advanced tips for customizations. As usual, I've got a keep document right here. If you wanna check out the written list, I'll drop it below in the outline. So the first thing is to get a solid wallpaper. And you guys know that in the past, I've always been a huge fan of backdrops and that's still true. So I highly recommend downloading the backdrops app. But I've also found recently that a really cool place to get good wallpapers and actually where I got the wallpaper that you see here and also the very cool wallpaper that actually changes on my lock screen. So you see here how it's changing and cycling through these different color galaxy wallpapers. It cycles through three different wallpapers on the lock screen. I found these actually in the Galaxy Apps store. So if you go to the Samsung theme store down here, you can see that I've bought a couple of these wallpapers. One of them is this color burst wallpaper that you have right there that you see on my home screen. The other one is the alternating colors that you see right there that is on the lock screen. So if you wanna check these out, I'll definitely drop the links below so that you can download these. Keep in mind, some of these only work in the US, so if you're in a different country, you might not be able to access them. I'll also drop a link to Backdrops, which is my favorite wallpaper app. There's a lot of really cool stuff in there as well if you can't find something on the Samsung theme store or if you just don't wanna pay for a wallpaper. So like I said, there are two different categories in the Samsung theme store. Some of them are alternating wallpapers that can only be used on the lock screen. Some of them are single wallpapers and they are varying prices like 79 cents to 99 cents. Okay, so those are the wallpapers. The next thing is to get a custom theme from the Samsung theme store. The real strength of Samsung phones is that not only do they have the wallpapers built into the theme store, they have full themes which theme out your settings and everything. Uh, the one that I like to use the most, and I'll show you guys right now, it's called Material Black and that's the one that I'm actually using at the moment. So this one actually is one that you need to install um, if you have Android 7 Plus, you have to install a new version, and this is the one that I have right here. So you can see the settings and everything are themed out completely black, which looks great on the AMOLED display. So you can see here, there's my phone menu. If I go up here, my quick settings are themed out all black. If I go into the main settings, my settings here are themed out all black. Very, very nice and looks very clean on the Galaxy Note 8. Um, you can also run this on the S8 Plus. Uh, etc. Galaxy S8 and looks really good. So you can go into the Samsung theme store. Some of them are paid uh, and again there is this issue like with Material Black. Some of them are only available in the US so if you're in another country just keep that in mind. Uh, the next thing is to try out a custom launcher. So I'm not a huge fan of Samsung's stock launcher. They've gotten better with the Samsung experience over the past with TouchWiz. So I always like to download a custom launcher and the one that I use is Action Launcher 3. You can see the settings right there. I'll drop a link below to the Play Store if you want to grab Action Launcher 3. Now, to get all the features, you do have to pay for the app. I believe it's $4.99. You guys can see I've been using it for a while. I've got the supporter badge in both 2016 and 2017. Chris Lacey's a great developer. He's always adding new features. Just a little taste of what you can do with a custom launcher. I'll do a follow-up video to detail more later, but you can add custom icon packs. You can see right now, that's actually the next thing I'm going to talk about. Uh, you can actually add a lot of the features from Android Oreo. So if you see right here, I'm able to enable notification dots. And even cooler, I can change the size of the notification dot and also where they appear. Another really cool thing you can do is customize you know, how many apps you have in your tray down here in the dock at the bottom. You can enable uh, your folders to actually become, if you look at this right here, make folder. If I go back, you'll see the name. It's called make cover. So if I make it into a cover, what this does is lets me swipe and then get into the folder and you can customize the accent colors of those. So it's a very nice way to keep track of your folders and sort of organize things in a way that looks very clean on the desktop. It looks a lot cleaner than a regular Samsung folder in my personal opinion. So that's very nice. You also got a slide out menu for the quick drawer, just endless things. This beautiful Google search bar at the top. I think it really makes the phone look nice. So again, Action Launcher 3, Nova Launcher is another popular choice. I'll link both below. And again, if you're interested in a full tutorial on how I use custom launchers, I'll definitely do that video in the future. Uh, one of the things I use custom launchers for, as I mentioned, is to enable a custom icon pack. Uh, there's a couple of icon packs I recommend for dark theme like I have right now. And those are Glim Dark and Black Drop, which are the ones I'm using right now. 
Again, the links will be in the description if you're interested. This one's got like a little teardrop pattern. You can see all of the icons have a different teardrop pattern on them, which I think looks really nice. And also Glim Dark has a similarly themed pattern, but those icons are a little more rounded out. They don't have this teardrop on the very edge. Uh, the next thing are the lock screen shortcuts. So you're definitely gonna wanna change those. Uh, if you go to the lock screen, you'll notice at the very bottom, you've got some shortcuts. Those are enabled to Samsung apps by default. Uh, I believe that those are something like, uh, I think phone and maybe the camera app by default. You can see I've changed them to Hangouts and Phoenix, which is my Twitter client. So if you go into the settings here at the top and just go down to lock screen and security, scroll down a little bit, you'll find app shortcuts, which is right there. And you'll see that you can change the left shortcut and the right shortcut. And you can see I've changed it to Phoenix and Hangouts, but you can actually change it to whatever app you want. You know, pick from all of your installed apps. Usually it's a good idea to choose whatever it is that you use the most on your phone and then put those as your lock screen shortcuts so you can easily and quickly access those. All right, so that's a pretty quick one. The next one are the S Pen settings. Now I actually mentioned this in my original video with the first 10 things to do, but there's actually one other thing I wanted to mention. So first of all, in the S Pen settings, you can customize which apps go here. So if you tap on the settings down here at the bottom, it's gonna go in here and you can actually customize the apps that are there. So you can see here I've got shortcuts, I can go in and I can actually edit. So if I wanna get rid of some of those Samsung apps, if I don't want them, I personally use all of those apps with my S Pen, but if I don't want like Bixby Vision, I can get rid of that and then I can go in and add another app like Facebook. Personally, I really like using the social media apps because I use my S Pen to crop things a lot and then share photos. So I have Instagram, Google+, Phoenix, Twitter, and Facebook. So you can customize those, which is great if you wanna use the S Pen and why not? Because that's one of the features that makes the Note unique. But also if you go into the new feature of the Note, which is live message, you can actually change the default color and also change the size of the line. So if you go up here and just change this and then change the color, you can change this to whatever you want as a default. You can also you know, start over here at the bottom and now this is going to actually default to that. You can also edit things like the background that you wanna start with, color, everything like that. And then you can really customize your experience when it comes to live right. And you can see I can't seem to draw an O very well. But anyway, that's what it looks like when you customize the default background, you know, writing size and everything like that. And at the end, when you save that, you can of course save that and share it to any of your social media platforms, hangouts, et cetera, which is pretty cool. And this is not a revolutionary feature, like I said last time, but it's a fun feature, especially to play around with your significant other and perhaps your friends. It's something that you know, you're not gonna see from other devices that don't have the S Pen built in. Okay, so the next thing is a custom keyboard. Custom keyboard is really just if you're not a huge fan of the Samsung keyboard. I'm not personally, so I always like to go and install Gboard from the Play Store. Again, I will link it below. That's Google's keyboard. One thing I really like about it is that it has an AMOLED theme, so AMOLED black right there at the top. So then when you actually go into an app like Hangouts, you'll see right here in the keyboard, you've got just a black keyboard. It matches very nicely with the AMOLED theme that I have going on. So also Gboard, there's a lot of other good custom keyboard options out there on the Play Store. I will link some of the options below. Gboard's personally my favorite. Navbar apps. This is an app that I've talked about in the past, which really enables you to do something really cool with your Galaxy Note 8. If you've noticed, Samsung took away the ability to make the navbar black in the new version of the software. Navbar apps allows you to bring that back and actually do more. You can actually customize the navbar color to whatever you want. So you download the app, go right there to select one color from the color palette, and you can choose any color you want to actually map your nav bar to be. So any color in the color wheel, I just happen to choose black, and then that's the color that my nav bar will be. You can also go into the settings at the very top, general settings, and you can change the color of the keyboard. So if you wanna change the color of the keyboard, go ahead and enable this, and then you can pick the color that the keyboard will change to. So you can see that the nav bar at the bottom changes the color so that it matches the keyboard itself, and mine in this case is black, so I just picked the black color from nav bar apps. Uh, the final thing here is a file manager. So Samsung does not give you a very good file manager on the Galaxy Note 8 out of the box. Uh, there is a way to get into the files, but the stock one's pretty poor. So I recommend downloading another. It's My Files is the stock Samsung app. I recommend downloading a third party. My favorite one is Solid Explorer. 
It also has a dark AMOLED theme, which looks really nice with the way I've themed out the rest of the phone. This allows you to dig into the folders on your phone, copy and paste things, create new folders, organize your music, um, basically do a lot of cool stuff. And also if you eventually get a model of the Note 8, which you can root, you can then also get access to the root storage and use this to browse around the root storage. All right guys, so that is the full list of everything that I suggest to customize your Galaxy Note 8 and improve the experience. Hope you guys really enjoyed the video. You can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google Plus, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video so I can make future videos like this. I appreciate you guys checking it out and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.